I'm not very sure you were earlier with dog because we knew this is right thing, yeah? Mm. Look at that. Whoa! Hey. You know what that's for, don't you? I was talking to an ex miner here this morning. Um, it's 100% cardboard, Bruce. This is the old cardboard thing, the tunnel goes under. So like if we dug down a little bit there, there is still a tunnel, it only goes under the road. Um, look, where them bushes are, over on the other side of the road, is where the tunnel come out about there. So it predates all them houses, the bungalows, everything. Oh, do you know what I mean? It's just a there. tunnel that went under this road to get the this Ginny track. This road was there before. Yeah, the road well, must have already been there, bro. Not always there, no, right? Oh, yeah, the yeah. Gone and then made after. Well, this road here, because that, uh, was to get it under. Uh, it's a proper ornate fancy wall, that, innit? You can well tell it's called broad, really, can't you? The uh, chap I was talking to this morning, the ex-miner, Bruce said that this fence used to come, the fence used to come off it, and then uh, down here, you know, like screening it. Yeah. So you didn't really used to see it that much. I wonder what used to be there. Uh, I asked the exact same question. Uh, like something to do with a water hydrant or something, one of them water hydrant signs. <coughs> if we could only just pick it up. Put it in my yard. It's <laughs> no, well, it is proper fancy, bro. That is original. Right, right, right. You shouldn't move that anyway, nah, yeah. that's original Burnley mining flipping there. Now the question is, who holds this land here? I asked the exact same question too, Bruce. Um, this you land. Up. Um, no, well, apparently somebody. It was going to be a builder's yard. Then it was going to be like a bit of a car lot. It was going to be quite a few things, but. Um, it hadn't ended up being anything. All these bricks, or looking at the bricks as well, you know, just in case there are any local ones. Um, the old boy, the ex miner we were all talking to, said that all oh, this is just like rubble, Bruce. What they've well, thrown on after this is yeah, later yeah. thing. So, why we've even come here and started our little journey here today, obviously, we were talking to the old boy there this morning, the ex miner. Um, we know the Ginny track came across here went under the road there, there is even a tunnel there, like to potentially if we get bored Bruce, or we've got a bit of time on, we'll we'll dig that out sometime and just show them because like we know no one's been in that one since the old boy was younger. But the, the Ginny track used to run. Well as you can see, as it, the guy told me it came out on that bush, so it weren't on an exact straight alignment, it was slightly on a tinkle, so it would have followed this fence line down here. Uh, it would have been a lot lower than this because obviously there's a tunnel there going underneath that and it would have been at the same level. Uh, Bruce, this is 100% the line it took it on. The Ginny track went down there to the brow of the hill and he, sa he said when you got to that tree line, uh, it dropped away sharply. This tree line here or the one the far away? The next one over. So like right, now, next to the fence yeah, we need to do a bit of off-roading. I doubt we're going to see anything here yeah because i think this is all I'm reclaimed land there, I, I think it is all reclaimed land from the um we'll get over to brower hill and then then uh, another reason why i wanted to start here obviously that cobalt what i found boost and this fossilized wood what we're going back to find um we want to see where that is in relation to this ginny track if that ginny track went whop off over ah, there do you know nice. what i mean so the, the, this is a spoil spoil pile isn't it yeah. You know what's weird? Go on. Why is it flat? No, because it used to be a rubbish dump. It, it used to be a massive hole. Then they filled it with rubbish and then they've come and thrown stuff over the top. They, they get spoil from coal mine sites a lot because coal mines used to throw a lot of shit out. You know, the spoily stuff, what we yeah, see, yeah. they use that as hardcore. So, yeah, yeah. like when they're building motorways and covering landfills like this, they target uh, ah. that to use as hardcore. Like instead of going and so buying, it's not been dumped here. It's, it's been brought here yeah, to um, be used to re-landscape the land. Yeah, oh, yeah. but the, oh, that's a different one, isn't it? Yeah, but it must be coming from coal mine still because yeah, obviously we've yeah, got the yeah. coal ball out yesterday. Um, obviously the fossils are there, Bruce. You'll recognise yourself that the rocks are one hundred percent coming from um, underground. They just look like underground rocks. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I want to see. Whereabouts that coal ball I dug up yesterday, uh, whereabouts and the fossils, where they are in relation to that Ginny track. 
Like that Ginny Jack's cutting straight down there. The sharp stick. Yeah, uh, I'm not surprised you want that back. Yeah, I'll just take camera back on for a little minute because although we're not at the tree line, yeah, the I know it looks a bit, does look a bit awkward, doesn't it, Bruce? Bro, call here straight away, even on this side. So, oi, I'm sure the rubbish dump is underneath us here. So, what your man said about the reclaimed thing must 100% be true. Like, I'm not, the Ginny track is over there. Look, can you see the wall? It's like probably 100 yards, 150 yards over there. So, if the Ginny track is over there, this weren't getting thrown off the side of the track. And if the rubbish dump is underneath this, um, you know what I mean? What, stay away. Oh, that's mint. Uh, if the rubbish dump is underneath this, then this has been brung here from somewhere else and just tipped on top to like landscape the whole area. Someone even commented on the um, YouTube channel, Dan, I believe it was. This used to be his, um, was it Dan whose job this was? Somebody had a job all. It's either way, this, do you know what I mean? I understand why this stuff is, if I am on, on top of the rubbish, I understand why this stuff here is on top of it. It's just, we think, do you know what I mean? Look, that's out of a coal mine. That's obviously out of a coal mine. Hey, yeah, I weren't expecting to find stuff here, Bruce. Bloody hell, size of that air. Uh, where would Ginny track? There on an angle. We need to be like, should we skirt round the trees? Oh, do you know what? I can already tell that goes down there. What, 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 what? Cuts past the other side of them trees where I found that cobalt boost were just on the other side of them trees yeah. on line with that Ginny track. Million percent. I can tell from here. Unless there's another patch of trees similar to that, like a bit further along to doubt. Hey. I'll turn it back on because look, even from up in the sky. I'd laugh if it's just a piece of rubber or something now, but coming back to try fire, I left me fossilised wood in the excitement of finding the coal ball yesterday. Um, Bruce. Oh, I, just did it then. <laughs> it's a I swear to God, Bruce. Wow, bro, it's genuine, Bruce. It's another piece of fossilised wood, bro. We've been on the hill probably five, ten minutes. We've only stopped recording like. For a little second here and there. Um, where's the ginny track going to be now? I'm going to try to get myself on the exact alignment with it. Well, that's my second fossil from up on this area. Um, quick bit of blurb. I, I was up here yesterday, found a core ball. Um, I, before I found the core ball, I found what I, put, I thought was a piece of fossilised wood. In the excitement of finding the core ball, I bloody left the fossilised wood, so we're coming up to try to find the fossilised wood. And um I'm gonna do that. Cause that's <laughs> in the coal, I just had a piece there what like went from rock to the thing. It must have been like the you know the split on the seam. Yeah, um, Bruce. Oh, that is nice. One million percent. It's a nice little a piece. Different, that, isn't it? a, it's oh different, nice, it's heavy too. Yeah, because it's gonna be ironstone or something, nice. isn't it? That is a, a different style to yeah, the other course, one. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? When we get to this other one now. Um, if it's still there. Oh, we've got double fences. We're going to have to walk around, aren't we? Um, that was just on the surface. It was, yeah. <laughs> like, literally just twinkling through, so what? everywhere, I know, Bruce, there is. They're all little midget ones as well. Um, look, look at that for a coal wall, bro. Look at the material on it. Oh, do you know what? Where did I just find this fossil? Because there was a nice little... I've seen a nice little cobalt ball there. And I've, I've, I've done, I've left it somewhere. Oh, yeah, as if I disregarded that one already. There's two different types of fossilised wood from the same little general area. And do you know what? Maybe it is nature. Like I thought, I thought a man was coming along and doing all this. You know where bits have been like 
where it looks like it's been dug up or turned yeah. over, so to speak. Do you know what we need to find, Bruce? We need to find some rabbit holes or something. Find some holes. <sighs> like, if you do come up here yourself looking around, these dark areas are your areas of interest because you don't have to do any actual digging yourself. Like, you can just see stuff on the surface that will interest you. There's loads of dirt's turned off around there though, Earth, like turned over. I'm all impressed with this. Yeah, we're going to have to walk. To be fair, I don't actually mind like cutting across it because I weren't expecting to hear find coal and stuff over on this side. I definitely weren't expecting to find a fossil over here. This must still be maybe just waste dumped from the coal mine and the rubbish got dumped under a different part of the hill maybe. We'd have to have a look on them old maps, you know, to see exactly. There's just a big pile of it somewhere and they've just dug that out and spreaded it all over the rubbish. Yeah, it makes sense to me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> There. What did your man say this morning? Oh, the old boy Bruce, the ex miner we all were talking to, he said, I think it was maybe in the 50s, I'm sure he said in the 50s, we'd have to watch the footage back, or I'll, I'll add the video, you know, chatting to the old man there this morning, the old miner. Uh, like, Bank Hall started dumping something down here, like, you know what I mean? Bank Hall opened apart. Oh, yeah. So they were, they were tipping something down here, I can't remember if he said it was a yard. Or some spot, sort of spot, but they were definitely tipping something down here from Bank Hall. <laughs> I grew up at the highest point of the boost, the coal ball I found, just on the other side of the trees here. You'll see patches of dirt in a minute when we crest the hill. So obviously anything what's rolled down there has not rolled down from any higher than this point, you know, because we're up at the top of the hill now. Double frog hole. No name. I still don't know. <coughs> the houses were just over there. The Jimmy track would have come on slightly this angle off to the right. I believe so. Again, I'm not actually sure why all this stuff's off to the left. Um, somebody else out of the group told me they were dumping stuff here in the 50s and 60s. One of the locations, they were bang on the money. Um, and that was this spot here, just round the corner, where we dug the coal ball up yesterday. Um, another one of its spots is pretty close to this area. Um, I'm not going to say where that is just yet, because uh, we want to go and have a look first. Um, I'm just, there's a good chance what this fossil, what we're here for now to find, um, in even here anymore, like, right, because there's a good chance someone's already come and had a good look around up here. But at least I found another piece of fossilised wood. Like, it probably doesn't amaze people as much as it amazes me, but that's over 300 million year old there, that in my hand. Uh, Bruce, this full hillside, the coal ball over there, that dark stain, that sounded big, didn't it? That, whatever that was. Uh, that dark stain over there, that's where I dug the coal ball up. The, the why we even come here in the first place, um, you were describing what sounded like either a big coal ball or a marine ball and it hit the fence there, Bruce. So that's yeah. also rolled down this hill. But now it's rolling from further than this, is it? I still don't understand the ones what have rolled down, have they rolled down in... Like have they rolled down in the olden days? Like, do you know what I mean? Have they rolled down current? I want to check that. I'm gonna check this. Oh, it's got a name on it, it's an old one. Is that glass? Oh, boy, that's beautiful. 
I found something similar, but it were like jet black with like white bits in. Yeah, I see Dave, one. David called that something. Can't you remember? He called it something when we were there seeing him. I even added a clip to that other video. Um, it, it, it's called something. He polishes them up. You know, like cuts them up, polishes oh, them up. Oh, that's them. That's coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Bruce, what, what does this say? I can't <laughs> quite, I can't quite make it out. Yeah, I can. Accrington. Oh, what do I want to that? Just ask David, isn't it? Yeah, probably cut. Probably needs cutting, Bruce. Like and then. Like these rocks and stuff, you just see, Bruce. You can tell they're from underground. They're not forming on surface. A lot of these. Um, I was just going to the dark stain first and see if my fossil's still there, Bruce. Then we've got two fossilized wood samples from up here. Um, where. I think he said some of these pieces I were picking up as well were pieces of marine balls. So there is marine balls here too, bro. Well, the the hey, no, the machines couldn't crush them. I don't know how they broke. I don't know if they broke at a later date. No, that's what I mean. Do you think they've done it at a later date to make it I've, like I've, I've one's been spat, smacking others. I don't mind finding some um, little animal holes somewhere, Bruce. You know, so they've already had a dig. We've got, have we got something to dig with, yeah? Yeah. Do um, A few... No, a few of them will know this spot. What? Have oh, you found another coal ball already? type of fossilised wood, two types of fossilised wood, both over 300 million year old, both from this hillside. Uh, was it both on the surface? Yeah, both on the surface, didn't even have to dig for none of them. Uh, that doesn't look black now, it looks a bit more blue. Look Bruce, that was one I found yesterday. It looked black yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I wanted that one because it shows different bands. Not sure what process has gone on there, but having that little piece. That one intrigued me yesterday, you can't see it now, but. Mm, do you know what, ten a penny, them ones. Yeah, them ones are not, though. Goose, I found the other piece of fossilised wood. Yeah. Look, tell me that's just not like a branch. Oh, nice. Fossil man messaged me last yeah. night saying, I hope you've kept that piece of fossilised wood. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Can tell again with weight, can't you? What, that's... Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you're totally different, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what they are yet, but we'll know when we get back, innit? There's a lot of, a lot of balls here, bro. All along that path. A lot of what? Coal balls, marine balls. Coal balls. Iron too. Bruce, these coal balls do look a little bit marine ball don't they? Yeah, we do, boss. So I'm in mix. There is definitely marine balls here. Oh, get it! Oh, what have oh, you oh. found? Nice. Rub it in water to clean it. Bro, what do you think that is ammonite? Yeah. Definitely an ammonite. What do you think this is? Oh, get in! <laughs> what, what? <laughs> get oh, in. Bro, it's got a shell in it, that one. I fucking know it has, brother. 
Look, I hope you can see that on thing, yeah. Um, Who's had some sort of fossilised shell? We got them from uh, Flower Sky Road, but in shale boots, and they were just disintegrating. That one will stay yeah, set that in stone. Yeah, that. that. That's a good one. Give me the claw. No. I want the claw. There's a little pool of water down there where I dug that coal ball out yesterday, booze. I'm just going to do like a random test at a random spot. Not Josie, you're deaf or boss? Ah. Weird green lines on it. That's where you scratched it. What with the yeah. with the green? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 nice. I thought it was some sort of um, staining. Lots of that. Lots, lots of little goodies here, Bob. Look at that. It's completely separated both sides of it. So, what do you think these are? Smashed what do you think up? that sediment there is or the mineral? It's going to be calcite. Um, I think the white one what comes between is always calcite. Someone said, crystal, yeah. someone said something about crystals, bro. A tiny little bit of it inside there, bro. See, yeah. Who's that? Looks like some sort of crystallised fossil. Who's look at that closely? That's got like uh, hexagonal patterns on it. It's weird, isn't it? You'd look at that with microscope. It's coal everywhere. Little chunks of iron balls, uh, coal balls. <laughs> to be fair, the best things have just been on the surface, boost. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Just, I'm thinking, just, uh, just lead on the surface, aren't they? It seems to be like broken coal balls or something, Bruce. Mm, that's what it used to mean, that awful one. How can you break them, though? You can't break them. They used to break the machines. That's why I'm thinking you've chucked in a machine that can break it. <sighs> All modern day shit. Bruce, what's that? Oh, that. That's leather. That's leather, that one. See, it's too tough for him. Um... <laughs> Some sort of fucking... Look at the inside, it's weaved. Oh, it's definitely some kind of leather leather, isn't it? Plastic. It's not plastic, bro, but it could be like some sort of great, great old sack. Well, saying that leather, you don't weave leather, do you? No. Mm -hmm. I'm not a cow, innit? it. Mind your <laughs> Oh, 
not having much luck digging. Um, I've got my fossilised wood. I'm good. Yeah, what you're saying, there's coal balls everywhere, other fossils on the surface. Yeah, we've just done a surface thing, haven't we, there, though? Yeah. Well, that's a coal ball boost. They're a little bit different here, aren't they? The, the, they they'd seem more to solid. The, a lot more solid than They're the Apton smooth. ones, aren't they? Unless the rain's got to them all the time. That's the only explanation, isn't it, really? No, because these are buried and them other ones are buried. Really? But they are everywhere. Small ones as well, but big ones. Like one I dug out yesterday was pretty big. Yeah, we can come here for a proper look and dig around though, can't we? To be fair, I just want to come back and make sure I've got my fossil bruise. Cobalt, piece of cobalt. I'm a bit shocked how many broken ones are about, Bruce. Oh. I didn't think they had a machine what could break a one. Bruce, that looks like a marine ball. It's a marine ball! <laughs> that well looks like a marine ball, bro. Oh, it does. Oh, good spot. Oh, it's flattening out a bit, so I might have already broke it, bro. I don't know, it's rounding off. <laughs> it's rounding off, bro.
come with the shit fucking toasters, Jos. I know. <laughs> but then we smash it when we come back, though, don't we? Who uh, that's a rainbow, that? And if it's not, it's a piece of one, innit? Is it big? That must have been a massive marine ball, that bro. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Man, where's the bed, Bruce? Like, could that not still be split? Yeah. <laughs> not got a massive surface, though, is it? Yeah. If it you could see it down the side, I think. <laughs> Can't really see a bed, can you? Like you could with the um, fossilised fish. That's 100% marine ball, and the first 100% marine ball I've seen here, Bruce. The other ones that I've seen here could all be um, they could all go down as core balls, couldn't they? All the others. But that is 100% marine ball, or part of one. Wounded. They're here though, aren't they? Yeah. Call it a do, come back with a few boys, have a bit of a dig about and that proper session. I bet if we just dug here through this soft mud. I don't know. You might be sitting breed them. Woman's bigger than man, or man's bigger than woman. Oh, sorry, bro. You stabbed me with that spike about 15 times. Kid, <laughs> <laughs> that's the second time. Bro, about 15 times. I nearly started crying on last one. I won't get a straight line, bro. <laughs> <laughs> one foot's bigger than the other. Yeah, I think it is just water doing this then, Bruce. He explained what because of the shale and the stuff, the tops all don't bite properly, you know, to the um, yeah, course, yeah. to the surface. Yeah, yeah. Let's check this one last patch before we walk off. <laughs> nice. That's a mad weird shape one, isn't it? Come on, bro. Oh, it's got a line in the middle, isn't it? So where are we here? Like a bump. You got a bum ball. <laughs> Bruce, we're right on the crest of the hill, on top of the hill. So. Hmm. We know that's out of our mind. How's it got here to this exact spot where we are now? Um, I think we need to take that home with us. Is if we've used all the plants or that plant or whatever? It's only a broken up boost in place. You can't see fossils inside them without polishing them. Uh, I'm going to get my spike then. <clears throat> like We've got some good core balls from up here then, Bruce. We've got some nice demonstrations to take to David's and um, split. Bruce, what's that? That looks different to everything. It's more modern to me, isn't it? A bit of concrete shite. What about that one? It's crazy how there's so many broken ones. Yeah, that must be a problem. Look at them. They're hard 
to break. <laughs> it's not because like, we found these ones, is it a ball one? Shut up. Is that where the mark is that the machine? Uh, I don't know. Look like one of the shredders or the fingies. Yeah. Oh boost! What? Look at all the pirate in it! Oh get in! It's not pyrite, it's gold. It is gold. It's gold bro. How gold? That one. Oh, it's been... full. <laughs> it's coming. It's gonna let look me, nice. Chop let me, that. Let me put this in my bag, bro. No. You're gonna have to carry one because that one's massive. Oh, man, yeah. Oh, I'm glad to check this last little patch of dirt. Oh wow! Can you see more stuff in it? Uh, that's mint. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They don't all fill with pyrite boots. That one's filled with like a white stuff. Yeah. And pyrite ones are special. We've got some nice little demonstrations to cut at David's now though. And we can show where we found them. Have you found some fossilised wood? No, that's Bit of a cobalt. Cobalt, yeah. So look where we are now, just for demonstration purposes. We've actually got one with pyrite in, some nice things. That's probably going to look sick, cut and polished. Um, and that other big one. Hopefully there's going to be something nice in that. Little ones scattered all about them were, were like a proper cut on the crest of the hill. I don't, I don't actually know if I'm totally honest why these balls were over this bit, unless, like we said, when the coal mine shut, they just had a massive pile of this, like hundreds and hundreds of tons. What used to come out at mines, you know what I mean? It'd have been a massive pile of it somewhere, and then when it comes time to cover the rubbish dump, they've just got all this from, I don't know, down there somewhere, wherever the pile was, and spread it out all over the site. I can't see the chances of this has been bumped from somewhere else. It's definitely a local mine, or they will not have these coal balls, do you know what I mean? It's the We're Burnley coal. Right coal ball, yeah, have we? Um, yeah, one of the... Right yeah, one of the Acton Valley ones, what we cut at David's. I'd buy right now. Yeah, but... Yeah. Boost that one's gonna look well better. The veins on that are well bigger than the veins on the other one. The other one were only like a little smaller um, thing. Can you get my pop in yeah, uh, your bag so I can carry this? <sighs> and to be fair, we've got some. I've um, actually got some nice demonstrations of coal balls, Boost. <laughs> Burnley ones again. <laughs> but as I was just seeing, like. <clears throat> I think this has come out of the coal mine, Bruce. Gone and sat somewhere in a pile for however many years. Do you know what I mean? And then been took and spread back out over the rubbish. I'm the exactly same, bro. Like this hasn't been thrown from a mine cart, has it? And it's just sat there on top of that. Too much work's gone on. That's what I said at the beginning, like, is it? Uh, it's been somewhere, sat somewhere. Why is it flat? Do you know what I mean? And then they've incorporated it in. You obviously weren't tipping it here. It's just been brought here after. But it's heavy this. <laughs> yeah, bag is too. Can't balance it there, bro. Oh yeah. I'd like to leave it there, but we won't because we want it for one, two. It's unsafe. Um, Is it like balanced on there though? Know. Last time it's going to be near something coal related. Mate, there's ants everywhere, all under that hillside. I don't know if they dug down to rubbish boost. Do you know what I mean? Black ants, not red ants. What does that mean? 
great. A lot of the others were red ants. It's a nice, lovely bit of wall. It's a lovely bit of wall. It's, it's mental. Even this, that's like stupidly ornate, isn't it? Oh, yeah. They have some money, didn't they, look coal mines? Well, they, were, yeah. they weren't shy of a bit of cash, was they? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they put that on there, but... Uh, yeah, so what do you think with the bricks what are on the floor on the other side here? They're more likely just to be from the builder's yard. I would just they're, they're, they've just been thrown uh, on re quite recently. The, 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 somebody took it on, uh, and it was overgrown. There are all these trees that had self uh, self sown, and then and they took it on, and they were going to. They, were gonna, they said they were going to use it as a car lot, and then they put all that hardcore on, and uh, I don't know what happened. It's a bit of a strange place for a car lot, isn't it? Like. Yeah. Traffic's not the best. They don't seem as bothered now with it all being open. Well, uh, up till recently, it had, it had that... Fencing stuff all over it. Both options are pretty plausible, aren't they, in this day and age? Yeah, this is crazy, this. I wonder if they had something just as ornate on that side of the road then as well. No, it just uh, come out. An old farm building. Yeah. Somewhere up there, somewhere down there, or it might have been the other side of it. There was an old farm building, uh, and it, was, it just it just went through farmyard. People look like they, these these tunnels what come under the main roads from the Ginny tracks. The ones down in the park are still there. From yeah. the fire station, the ones you can go into the park near the bandstand, drop down a little hole behind the bandstand, and go through all the old Ginny tracks. They're all still there. For some reason, the park's just hidden. I think they should open it up and have it a bit of a public display. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, should, they should. They need to be a little bit prouder of the uh, mining heritage around this town. How were you getting into Bank Hall then when you've gone into Bank Hall? Like, was you going down one at Shafts? Yeah. Straight out of Shaft, yeah? yeah? Number four, have you been down Biggin? Yeah. You've been out big, I've been, I've been there, number one and number four. Yeah. Ah, there, apparently there's still supposed to be some sort of inspection chamber there for number four. You know, so the coal authority can still check on it. There is a manhole in loosely oh, the right oh, place. Oh, 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 yeah, there is like a... There, yeah, yeah. there is a thing in loosely the right place. Yeah, it was... Uh, we've been... Yeah, the, 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 well, we've been trying to get into Bank Hall now, I won't lie, uh, since we started the group. Obviously, you know yourself, it's very, very, very deep, and it's going to be flooded more than likely. 60% of the way, Townley we used to flood it out, weren't it? Even Townley's yeah. flooded. We've been in Townley, we've been in Bogart, we've been in a few of them. Yeah, you've been on the ground, you know? Yeah, yeah, we've been in them. Oh. Like, in and down, like, do you know what I mean? Like, uh, genuinely, we got into Coppy, uh, like Coppy, the last one we went into just a couple of days ago. Like, the, the Burnley ones, uh, Yeah, I went over the other side of the road trying to find where it must have come out, but I presume it dropped on a steep incline or something, or has that just been massively reworked on the other side of the road? It's been rebuilt. All houses and that. I don't really care about where that bush is there. It came out roughly that there. Yeah. And then went straight down, well, it was a straight line to the back of the road. Is that thing? Yeah, where, where, that, where that fence is there. The wooden square one? Yeah, the, 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 the hedge, the fence, fence, you know, the, the one that runs across. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, well that's where the trees are. The, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was in Ginny Line. Well, well that, it went down there, but, but that, it, it, it fell away really steeply there. and, and They've filled it all up with rubbish now to level well, it off. Well, they, they filled it up with all sorts, but it, well, it was like that, and then... Uh, in the late fifties, uh, Bank Coal put put a big tip there. Yeah. Coal, uh, coal tip. Yeah. And they built it up like a big pyramid. But there was a, you know, this side of it, a couple of rivers. One ran this side, and one ran the other side. Well, well this, this river's still there, but one of them they died, They built that lake. Yeah. The lake. Yeah, yeah. They, oh yeah, cause it's not there on old pictures. It's mental. They, they dammed that that river. That shut the other. 
and then and then if you go down Robley Lane, that waterfall, they diverted it down those waterfalls. Yeah. And then and then they you know, they took all the all, all the original Ah, water. that's what the waterfalls were for. We've been looking at them waterfalls for years, mate. Could not work out what they were for or why they were even there. So that was to divert the river past this thing. To stop it coming past this side, yeah. Right. And then, uh, Sometimes they took all the all, they took the tip away, the coal tip. Yeah, yeah. And that now is spread from Burnley to Blackburn on motorway M65. Is that what the uh, thing is, or the watch called? Yeah, well, we all, all, all the all the spoil went there. And yeah, well, they put the hardcore in for the M65. We tidied Apton Valley, and apparently it's the same story up there at Apton Valley. Like it all used to be flat like this, but now it's just like a big massive ball shape. And when they were digging motorway, they just took like couple of hundred tonne of it to use as hardcore at motorway. So you're going to find a couple of coal mile spoil all the way outside at motorways then as well. Oh, yeah. well they, they, they just, this hillside, believe it or not, they must have done the same thing with this hillside. When they've... They, when, this, this is all landfill. Yeah, but when they did the landfill and the rubbish, what they've done when they've finished the landfill and the rubbish is what you've just said there. But instead of doing it on the motorway, they've done it here on all this hillside. So they must have got a pile of spoil from somewhere. Well, they brought it from everywhere. Right, they, so... When, when they were working tip, they put, they put a big put a big barrier up there to protect us for noise. Yeah. They put a big a big earth mound up there. And then I don't know where they got it from, but it, 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 so it, it, it all smell and dirt. Morning. Uh, and, uh, morning. They didn't come over didn't the come hillside. Over so they could work without them being noisy. Yeah. Uh, and, and then just... Uh, Mate, you live there, so you probably understand. I've seen the old pictures of this area before that landfill went there. Mate, how much rubbish is under that hillside? Well, that, well that I used to work on it. Did you? Well, it's that's what I love to be going on. It's like, it's mental. I can't even begin to imagine the things that must be buried under that hill. Oh, there's all sorts under there. It's, there. it's crazy. I just found some fossil, like I said, I found some fossilised wood and uh, a coal ball yesterday. I, in the excitement of finding the coal ball, you know the Burnley Bobber, one of them yeah, balls, what, yeah. yeah. Stone, well, yeah. in 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 the yeah, yeah, the rock hard mate, they're so hard to split them. It is unreal. But in the excitement of finding one of them, up here, my first coal ball, Peter, I've bloody left me piece of fossilized wood, and uh, my fossil man messaged me last night and that saying, I hope you've kept that piece of fossilized wood. I'm off to find it now. Yeah. It's just because I'm aware that I, obviously I check the old maps. I love the old maps yeah. and stuff, and I am aware of the Ginny track that came from here, cut through here. And went down there. It's just I've 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 been past here probably a thousand times in my lifetime. Here, and if I'm being totally honest, I've never actually noticed this wall before. It, well, well, it, it has been here, but it, uh, it's just up till recently. Uh, there, there, there was you know, this, this this wooden fence screened it. Right. And it went right across. It was wooden fence right across up for, for a few years. So that would have hidden it yeah, a little bit. It, so yeah. that would have stopped me seeing it. What would have been on here? Some sort of coal or forage signs no, or something? It, it used to be. A water hydrant, you know, the yellow side for water hydrants. Yeah, oh, my dog's tying, morning. my dog's tying you up. <laughs> yeah. We're out to the, an old chap up in a, in a, a wheelchair, uh, well, a couple of years back, and they were telling me that there was a tramway running. Well, yeah, the, 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 I'm, I'm here with the same yeah. mission now. Uh, Ginny line, yeah. That's right uh, uh, down to a quarry. It? Well, no, it went down to all other coal mines. mines. Oh, 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 down there, went down there. Went down there to what we what would be there was another mine down there, Vio Corrier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. where right, football club is now. Vio, that's right. I remember him saying that. Yeah, I remember saying this that. one actually goes under here, the tunnel. Obviously, this weren't a bridge, the, the tunnel. There's a tunnel going under the road oh, here, yeah. coming out the other side. Yeah, we're an interesting chapter. Oh, well. I wonder what it were walking past this. I thought it was fancy that. You Very know, fancy it, wall, yeah, isn't it? For a little eight foot yeah. length of wall. Yeah. I remember going through a tunnel when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, they were only small. The tunnels, most of the tunnels we've been in are four footers. They did, they did dig, uh, they dig out the one with less than needed to. Yeah, yeah, well, usually the coal seam as well. In Burnley, we've got a lot of small coal seams. Like, the coal seams, some of them are like a foot and a half. So, you, yeah. you you know what I mean? It's silly. We've been in Gambleside. Like, Gambleside was abandoned back in 1600s. Their coal mine tunnels, you've never seen anything like it, boy. So, it's like it's like two foot high. Yeah. I, I don't know how they were in there mining well, it. I've worked on a two foot high, a two foot seam. Have you? And what, how, how, was they getting tubs up and down still on tramways? Well, or was you just... The one I worked on. It was at Upton Valley. Yeah. 
uh, and it was totally mechanised. There was nothing on it. On the, on the, on the, on the coal was two foot, see, see, and the machine went through, and it was just a conveyor, a, a steel conveyor, a chain driven conveyor. Yeah. And it was just a bl- big blade that was mounted on the side of the conveyor. And, uh, you know, a more gearbox at the other end. Yeah. And they just pulled it along and sliced four inches at a time. And as it went across, they tripped the, the, the hydraulics and they just move across, go to the other end. Do it the same again. They'll come there and move all, all the way and they come back and plow it the other way and then come back and just yeah. zip it along like that. What, and they were doing that at Upton Valley? Yeah. I presume that Upton Valley they had all the big pneumatic air jewels and stuff well, like that to win the coal. But later on, the... Uh, that's how they done it with the mechanised, they had the, 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 uh, the modern machinery there. Yeah, 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 see like it you yeah. enjoyed it, bro? Yeah, they had, uh, how long did you work at Upton Valley then? About three years. Yeah, have you not? We, we've just tidied Upton Valley. Like, we've just been up, I went up there looking for the mine and uh, Burnley Bobbers, and it had become a rubbish dump, mate. People dumped hundreds and hundreds well, of tyres. There were all sorts of things. Loads of rubbish, mate. It was disgusting to say the men died there. Do you know what I mean? People should have a bit more respect. Me and the boys cleaned it up. It only took us probably about six days or something. We've made it into, um, it's all a memorial garden now up there, mate. We've, yeah, we've made flower beds, fingers. Do you know what I mean? It looks really, really nice. Yeah, I worked up there about three years. I worked at Bank Hall for a while. Oh, you Bank Hall as well? I worked at Bank Hall. I worked at Forney Bank. Um, what, Forney Bank? Yeah. I've seen pictures of the last boats come out of Forney Bank, I believe. So you've been in all the you've been oh, yeah. oh, I've been well, all well, the local so well, pictures. Yeah. We, we did a stint at most of them. Uh, up at Deer Oh, Deer we've been we've up, 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 up at the other side of Bearcup, Hilltop. Hilltop, uh, we, we've been trying to get into Hilltop. I were in Coppet other day, mate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we were in Coppet yeah. other day. Only in like the first little entranceways near where you know where you first go in and where the water loose is we yeah. were up around there we didn't actually go down into the workings because i'm not gonna lie it, now it's the muddiest mine we've ever seen mate i promise you it's full of like muddy ocher up to like your five i wouldn't, I wouldn't know i wouldn't know where to look for it now i'll get my bearings from pub yeah <laughs> <laughs> and that's about all i can remember is, uh, i think uh, most of you will get the bearings from pub to be fair um, uh, who actually owns this bit of land here, mate? I'm not sure. Somebody must own it, because over years you see odd little bits going on here and there, don't you? Well, well it, 